A fight at Valhalla High School in El Cajon is in the spotlight tonight. Two students were the ones who were fighting, but a campus supervisor is now on paid administrative leave. Fox 5's Clara Benitez explains. The actions of a Valhalla High School campus supervisor are now being investigated by the Grossmont Union High School District. An altercation between two students occurred during lunchtime on Tuesday and staff members intervened to break it up. Superintendent Teresa Kemper stating in a recorded video she is aware some students and staff are still feeling the effects of Tuesday's incident. In light of the events that have taken place in America over the last two years, it's completely understandable that students and members of our school community are upset. Fox 5 watched the video with parent and activist Tasha Williamson on her laptop. So he doesn't effectively separate them. In the video, you can see the officer trying to intervene between the two girls, holding one down as she continues to fight the campus supervisor. Oh my God, you know, um, why would somebody have a, their knee on a face and neck of, of a young black uh, student? The district stating in a release, any time allegations of employee misconduct are brought forward, the district takes those allegations very seriously. Retired district attorney investigator Cameron Gary says he has broken up many fights in the past. And in this fight, the supervisor did the best he could. It is never pristine. It is never clean. It is never... You know, is what people would think. It's not, okay, you guys go here, you go there. Almost never. You're, you're in there and you may get hit yourself. We asked the district how long it would take to determine misconduct on that employee. They did not have an answer. Reporting from El Cajon, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News.